So what is an amp hour? An amp hour is a unit of measurement that's kind of confusing and people sometimes look at it and they're like, this just doesn't make any sense. And the reason it doesn't make sense is because, well, it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna to try to explain what an amp hour is. So basically an amp hour is a unit of measurement for the capacity of a battery, similar to a gallon of milk. So where a gallon is a unit of liquid, an amp hour is a unit for a battery. So an amp hour is a measurement of capacity of a battery. In technical terms, the definition of an amp hour is it's the number of amps a battery can output in a period of time of one hour. So the formula for this, if you wanted to use it, is just simply amps times hours is equal to amp hours. For a battery capacity, we always use one hour for the rating. So this is gonna be 100 amps per one hour. That's a 100 amp hour battery, 100 amps for one hour. So what this means is that this 100 amp hour battery can put out 100 amps for a period of one hour, or we can use it in other ways. We can use it with an output of one amp and it would last for 100 hours. If it had an output of 50 amps, then it would last for two hours. If it had an output of 200 amps, then it would only last for one half of an hour. So we can look at this in more realistic terms of what an amp hour is. Generally, you're gonna be really asking yourself, well, how long will my battery run? How long is it going to last? So for my example here, I have, how long will it run at 10 amps? So I rearranged that formula a little bit, but it's pretty simple. So for a 100 amp hour battery, I'm dividing it by the 10 amps, I'm left with a unit of hours. A 100 amp hour battery will last for 10 hours at 10 amps. If it was only at five amps, then it would last for twice as long, and that's 20 hours. Another example would be, what if it's at six amps? Well, if it's at six amps, it would last for 16.67 hours. So what about charging? How long is it gonna to take to charge your battery after you discharge it? Charging is the opposite of discharging, but the math is the same. So like we showed, said before, it would take 10 hours to discharge the battery at 10 amps. Well, it would take 10 hours to charge the battery at 10 amps. So if you were only charging at five amps, it would take 20 hours to charge that 100 amp hour battery. So if you increase the size of the battery, the math doesn't change. The math is still exactly the same. In this case, I used a 200 amp hour battery and the 200 amp hour battery will last twice as long as the 100 amp hour battery. It will also take twice as long to charge at the same rate that you would have been charging the 100 amp hour battery. If you were charging it at five, <laughs> if you were charging a 100 amp hour battery at five amps, it would take 20 hours. However, you can generally charge and discharge a bigger battery at a higher current. So if you double the current, you can generally also double the charge that you're going to be. And it's gonna take the same amount of time. So for example, if you charge the 200 amp hour battery at 10 amps, it would take 20 hours to charge it. But because it's a 200 amp hour battery, not the 100 amp hour battery, we can actually double the charge current. And if we double the charge current, to 20 amps, it would take 10 hours. If we, of course, doubled the charge current again, or if we doubled the charge current to 40 amps, it would only take five hours. And this is the recommended charge rating of a lifetime 200 amp hour battery. The higher a battery's capacity, generally, we can charge it and discharge it at higher currents or amps. We can also increase the capacity of a battery bank by installing a set of batteries in parallel to each other. I will get into that in another video.